In this video, we're going to look into upgrading to the latest version of the Pro Currency Wallet. Uh, it's always great to see the company in development. This uh, wallet came out, I guess, somewhere around the beginning of the year. I know that there is movement uh, towards certain goals. I spoke with Danny Pacheco, and um, he has plans to continue the development. So. Hold tight, stay tuned, and um, anyways, but here we go. Um, the newest version of the wallet is this one here, but let's uh, start the whole process. With our wallet, the first thing we want to do is back it up. So we're going to go File, Backup Wallet. I like to put my backups, again, right on the desktop. So here, why don't I do it this way, Proc Backup. And we're going to save that file. Here we see it appear on the desktop. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to turn the wallet off. Make sure that there's no line under the icon if the icon is there. And make sure that in this area you don't see the icon anywhere. And so we know it's off. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to open up a browser and we're going to go to GitHub and this is the URL right here and what this does is this brings us right to the different versions of the wallet once we're on GitHub we're going to come down and this is the latest release so here um, if you're on a Mac, you would use this file. If you're on Linux or Ubuntu, you would use this file. But this happens to be a Windows computer. So I'm going to click on this. And we see it begins to download here. OK, so the file has downloaded. And what we can do is click on this arrow. We can do Show in Folder. And what that does, it opens up the download directory. So now we find the file, and it's right here, Pro Currency. What we're looking to do is we're looking to extract those files. I'm going to right click and go to Extract All. Here we see it's going to be extracted within the downloads directory. But what I want to do is actually put that on my desktop. So I'm going to go Browse and I'm going to go to the desktop here. I actually already have it here. <laughs> I'm going to select that folder and overwrite it. So now we're going to extract those files. Okay. So now let's go to our desktop. We see the file right here. What we're going to do is double click. And you see the Qt file right here. So what we want to do is come down. If you have the icon for the wallet here, and you see there's no yellow line, so we know the wallet's not active, we're going to right click on that and click Unpin from Taskbar. Now what we're going to do is take this file. We didn't double click and open the wallet. We're going to take this and just drag it to our desktop. So now we have the icon right here. If you also want to have an icon on your desktop, you can right click on the file, go to Send To, and put a desktop shortcut and you see that shortcut uh, appear right here. I don't like that. I like my desktop clean. So I'm going to use this shortcut. We can close this now and click on our wallet. My wallet did open up without any security settings, but if you had some security settings appear, you want to make sure that the software is able to run on all the networks and that the software is able to go through your firewall. 
If you're running on Mac, it's a little different, but there are other videos that essentially show the same thing. Now, the only thing you want to do now is just verify this version, 1.3.8.0, and it looks like a beta release, BR. So, with that, I would say keep your wallet going. Uh, make sure you have your coins either in Coproc uh, 